Come on, Caden. All right. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. Good morning, everybody. So this morning, I want to start by asking a question that maybe you won't expect me to ask, but have you ever been mad before? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Pastor Tim says, I have. Um, well, and like, have you ever been so mad that you've had like a meltdown where like you've screamed, thrown a temper tantrum? Have you ever done that? Yeah? I have too. I have too. Pastor Tim's like, oh yeah, I have definitely done that. Yeah. Um, so we all have. We all have. And today, um, we have a story from uh, the book of Jeremiah, which is about a prophet, one of God's prophets in the Old Testament. And Jeremiah, in today's story, we hear about um, how the prophet Jeremiah was having a really bad time. Um, and he's upset. Uh, and he's kind of complaining to God about his current situation, like, a lot. Uh, he's complaining a whole lot. And there's a really special word that we use uh, to talk about times in the Bible when different Bible characters complain to God. It's called lamenting. Can you say that with me? Lamenting. It's a really big word that basically means I'm going to complain about what's happening in my life. And <clears throat> um, there are a lot of times in the Bible, more than you might think, of people who are complaining to God about things that are happening in their lives right now. And it's not something that we really do very well sometimes, because sometimes we think that we just need to, when we talk to God, that we need to thank God, and we need to ask God to help us with things. Um, but we can also complain to God. We can also say, hey, God, I'm really mad right now. And we can even do what Jeremiah does, and we can even blame God for the things that are happening in our lives. And there are examples in the Bible that show us that it's okay for us to do that. That it's normal for us to have big feelings. And God wants to be a part of those big feelings. Um, so all of us have big feelings at times. And when we do, our feelings kind of demand to be felt. And so it's really important that we let those feelings uh, out and we let those feelings show. And God wants to be a part of that. Because God knows exactly what it's like to feel mad. God knows exactly what it's like to feel frustrated. God knows what it's like to feel like you just want to kick and scream and throw things. And God knows that because God sent Jesus to be human amongst us. And so Jesus got to experience all the same feelings that we feel as humans. And so God knows exactly how it feels when we're upset and mad. And like in our story today, when Jeremiah is complaining to God, God gets it. God understands that things, sometimes you have a bad day. Sometimes things just aren't going right in your life or things aren't going well. But the important thing, our good news today is that even in the midst of our complaining and our lamenting and our frustrations, our bad days, God is always with us no matter what. And God loves us no matter what. And that's our good news today. So that even when we have those big feelings, God actually would invites us to lament to him, to lament, lament to God about how we're feeling. Because God wants to be a part of that too, so that he can also be part of that healing that comes after. And so with that, I'd love for you to please repeat after me in prayer. Invite the congregation to join as well. Dear God, Dear God thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. And for people like Jeremiah, and for people like Jeremiah who teach and show us who teach and show us that having big feelings is okay. That having big feelings is okay. And that we can always share those with you. That we can always share those with you. Thanks for always loving us no matter what. Thanks for always loving us no matter what. We love you. Love you. Amen. Amen. All right. Thanks for coming up. And remember, next time you're mad, you can give it to God.